it's like something out of a science fiction movie. A scientific complex, the Large Hadron Collider, just outside Geneva in Switzerland. It's the site of the European Laboratory for Particle Physics, where 27 kilometers of underground tunnel have been built. Highly technical equipment for a powerful and complicated machine, which will smash together protons at super fast speeds. Six detectors will count, trace and analyze the particles that emerge from the collisions. It's a massive international experiment. Some say it will give unprecedented insight into understanding more about the beginnings of the universe, the Big Bang Theory. Others say it's a scientific voyage into the unknown. This giant laboratory has taken 20 years and 6 billion pounds in funding to make. The Large Hadron Collider is the largest particle accelerator that's been built to date and it's reached the highest energy so far. The machine is built in a 27 kilometer long tunnel and it accelerates beams of protons or ions, so the nuclei of atoms, in opposite directions and it brings the beams together and there are four huge caverns housing particle physics experiments. ATLAS is one of those four experiments. Now we want to do this because when these beams collide together they recreate the conditions last seen billions of a second after the Big Bang. And the universe at this time was composed of the very fundamental particles that we want to study. So if we build large experiments around these collision points, we can take snapshots of the types of fundamental particles that were produced there. And if we can do this again and again and again, and the LHC will allow us to do this 40 million times a second, then we can start to build up a really good picture of what the early universe looked like, what it was made of, and how it behaves. With just a week to go, the teams are on edge that the world of physics may soon be taking on a new dimension. The expected particle collisions will produce atom-sized fireballs, much hotter than the center of the sun. No one is really certain of the end result, but it's hoped that a whole new class of supersymmetric particles will be created and shed a completely new light on what causes dark matter and dark energy.